Today on Castle of Legends, we're going to open up um, a classic L5R box of uh, Path of the Destroyer. Uh, this is a card game that uh, I actually never got into um, years ago when it had come out originally. I, I think at the time I was playing a little bit of uh, Magic the Gathering, and um, I don't believe the retailers really had much of uh, L5R, and they really just focused on Magic and... Um, you know, it's just other games. Actually, some of the card, like the card shops I used to go to still supported um, a lot of sports cards. But now, you know, nowadays, um, you walk into any of those same sports card shops, they're all, it's all magic, uh, pretty much magic and Pokemon. But, um, you know, now I've been just kind of going back and collecting uh, some card games, getting interested in um, actually the, uh, the Fantasy Flight version of... Um, Legends of the Five Rings, but uh, I really like the artwork for these cards, and I, uh, you know, I saw I, I I wanted to start collecting, so I've actually got another boss. I bought another booster box of um, Dawn of the Empire or something like that. Um, just actually still going through that, and I had opened it long before I uh, started this uh, channel. So, but this one I actually just got. I just picked up on um, uh, eBay pretty recently, and uh, wanted to go through it so um and i thought what better way oh the box is uh last i guess it's taped or something the box is a little flimsy but anywho let's uh gonna open it up and get some packs out here let's see what i can do to actually open them all up on the on the channel uh, or in this video in one shot but uh Maybe just get an idea of what what the cards look like um, for those of you that have never seen this game. So you got um, eleven packs, sorry, eleven cards, and I believe the I believe, believe this box had thirty six packs inside. Um, anyways, oh, forty eight. So that's quite that's quite good actually for uh, someone that likes to get a lot of a lot of cards. I just love opening uh, boosters, <laughs> so um, probably what I'll do is I'll sort out all the rarities and um, everything afterwards on the fly, but uh, I believe the, so I go through the cards here. I'm just going to put some of these down. That looks really nice. Okay, so, so it looks like this is the rare. So the last four cards you got, yeah, last four cards are basically your rare and uh, your three uncommons. So the first batch are all the common cards, and then I'm going to move these back a bit here. My rare. I don't know if I'm going to open the entire box, but what can I say? I really want to actually go through it one by one myself and, and uh, read everything. I don't know the rules of... I'm just starting to understand the rules of the uh, the Fantasy Flight um, version of the game. But um, it looks... Uh, I actually bought the core set for... The uh, fantasy flight, <laughs> fantasy flight version of the game, um, some time ago, and I've been planning on buying a few more core sets and just expanding on it, um, my collection. And I found uh, a local group that actually plays. So what I may do is uh, get myself really familiar with everything and go out and play. It's probably the best way to learn the game. Um, I'd be curious to find out if any of those players, um, here's a rare, it's pretty neat. Um, any of those players actually play the, the original uh, game. I still have to figure out what kind of clan I like. I started liking the scorpion. I like the, the art on the, uh, on the scorpion cards. I just like all the red and the dark 
seems like the artwork is a little darker than some of the others, but I, don't know, I guess it's all depends on what you like in your own uh, playing style. But I haven't really had a game yet, so don't have a play style just yet. But uh, first of law, it's rare. Oops, wrong pile. And uh, put these guys there. Preparations. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's too bad that I didn't, uh, oops, I didn't uh, find these uh, earlier, like, uh, or in, sorry, get into the game earlier, um, you know, with some of the retailers selling the product. Uh, I do recall, because I, I mean, back when I was collecting magic i did buy uh, a few other games that came out in the store like um i remember buying a, a starter deck for dune which i had to i sold off and then i re i've actually repurchased in the last uh, couple of years and uh, i'll actually share that collection on the channel soon um so i actually got quite a bit and um these are rare kudo um, oh, oh, sorry, that was not the rare. These are rare. And, um, yeah, I got uh, Dune and uh, Battletech cards. Uh, which, <laughs> funny enough, I actually sold both of those starter decks off. And now I've uh, found myself wanting to get those cards again. But I think I'm actually really interested in a lot of the, uh, you know, the AEG product uh, with the L5R, Legends of the Burning Sands, uh, Warlord. Actually, I've got a big collection of 7C. I went to a collectible show probably three or four years ago, and uh, there was a guy selling the boosters of a whole bunch of boosters of the 7C. And trying to recall what the other game was it might have been it might have been Tomb Raider uh, might, yeah it might have been Tomb Raider which I do have a, a really big collection of as well God, I'm, I'm really planning on putting the rares in the wrong spot Anyways. I'll probably have to go through these and make sure I didn't I didn't mess it up but anyways Seeking the Guilty. Yeah, this... Even the, the comments, like, even... Like, the artwork is just... It's just awesome. I mean... I, yeah, I mean, it's too bad that uh, the company gave up on it, or decided to sell it off to uh, Fantasy Flight. Fantasy Flight's got a little bit of that... Like, it's got a wash look to it, and... I don't know, they seem to be having a history of having a game for a while and then canceling it maybe a little too early. So hopefully they don't do that with uh, with this game now that I'm thinking about actually getting into it. But it's not a big deal. I mean, you can always go back and, you know, play a game, like play the classic, uh, you know, the original version and understand all the uh, me mechanics that they had in this this version of the game, which I guess is pretty, pretty similar. I actually have the, um, one of the, I, I have the core rule book for the RPG of this game. Uh, which is, uh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the, which is, which is really nice. There you go. Yeah. That artwork there. I find that the deep colors is very similar to um, the Warcraft game, World of Warcraft uh, card game. 
which I, I have I have as well. I never really got, I was not never really interested in that. For some reason, I just, I don't know what it is. I never really even played the game, like the computer game. I don't know, there was just so much else to to play and, uh, and enjoy, so. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, the colors on these, you know, on the artwork for these cards are amazing. Well, packs are easy to get into. Border and bush. I mean, look at look at the artwork on that. Just just nice, nice job. Yeah, I mean, this would would have been a game I I would have gotten into if I had I had a little bit more access to it. The other thing too would be like, you know, family and stuff like that. Just kind of got, you know, all the distractions, right? Don't really think about card games, but, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I really like ninjas. So seeing ninjas on a card is, is uh, pretty, pretty fun. So, yeah. Had I noticed that, I would have totally been into this game. Big fan of uh, G.I. Joe, um, Storm Shadow, Jinx, and any of those characters. So any, any kind of ninja, for some reason, I just always like always liked the ninjas. So I would have, definitely would have liked these. Yeah. I don't know, I'm thinking I'd make this into like a two-part video. Now, we'll get through it and go through it all today. I'm actually glad they did the card uh, rarity and the boosters the way they did. Because, I mean, you have to have a good, a good rhythm and putting everything at the back just makes it a lot easier. I'd be curious to know in the comments if anybody actually still uh, plays the original game, like the... What the? Oh, okay. I got a two in the same booster. That's interesting. You find like some kind of... Double rares, it would be kind of fun. I don't know, one thing with these classic games, they don't really have a lot of the... You know the foil and the um, the ultra rares. I mean the foil's nice, but uh, I don't know. It gets a little complicated when you get these like super rares and these ultra rares. You know, just have the plain rarity of the card. You know. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of the uh, the LCG model is you don't have to worry about that. You can you know just buy the packs and you get all the cards that you need. I actually really I actually really like that now. Makes it a lot, a lot simpler than uh, you know, say Magic cards. I think the last box of Magic I ever actually bought, um, which I may end up buying for for the channel, but um, oh, I can't remember the set. It, all I remember recall was the last pack in the entire box. I pulled a Jace the uh, Mind Sculptor out of the out of the Magic the Gathering um, boxes, and I was. I bought the box with the entire goal of finding uh, finding that card, and um, you know, and I didn't have a channel like this. It would have been pretty pretty fun actually doing that. Now that I think about it, but yeah, the the last pack in the entire box, and then I ended up uh, somehow I acquired a few more, and uh, I might have I might have actually bought them. Um, and then I actually sold all my rares off. Um, I mean, I have a handful of those, but I sold my binder off to somebody that I work with. And um, yeah, and I wish I didn't do that, but I still have a lot of my, the rest of the collection I had. I had a lot of like um, 
multi-language like uh, different language cards like um, like visions uh, ma uh, yeah mirage visions weather lights I had in different languages I was buying packs that uh, from a from a shop that imported uh, different language but um, even these L5 R's I kind of interested in getting different uh, different languages even for the L LCG you know just 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 for fun but I think I'll do that after I actually get the course that I need in English and uh, for myself and then I will expand on you know just adding a few cards here and there maybe just like get some promotional cards so I still got to figure out what kind of clan I want to play I might actually just try a few and see which ones I like. It might actually just depend on the artwork. As well as, uh, you know, the type of characters. I think the, uh, yeah, the scorpions still have ninjas. I don't know if the ninjas are for all the clans or not, but at least some of the cards I have are, seem to be scorpion related. Or even the crane clan. Let me make sure that you guys can see the uh, the art in these. It's really nice. Calm before the death. Yeah, I'm shooting this video the day after um, Kobe Bryant just uh, passed away in an accident. Um, on a on a Sunday, so um, yeah, unfortunate that that happened. Look at this artwork. Very nice. boxes are really fun didn't really cost a lot um, this reminds me of the old magic card called arcane denial I think that was the name of it or even like the force of will art I'll have to see who who, uh, who painted that I just did a little a quick cleanup just a little reorganization that up so, rare scorpion and around comments get quite a bit uh, in these uh, boxes I used to look at the, these more like cube boxes and I thought oh, there's not enough definitely not enough cards in there but oh yeah Useful connections. Earth's Embrace. Yeah, I really like the artwork on these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed it, speed this up. Just going to go straight to the. Uh, Straight to the rares and the uncommons. So it's likely I'm getting more of the same uh, cards. Let's just make it a lot, a lot quicker. There's a rare. Just got a handful of packs left to go through. I 
get these. Definitely going to buy some, um, some more. If I can find, find some collections as well, maybe I'll pick those up. I really like just opening sealed product, but... Someone that doesn't want to, doesn't want these little cards anymore, doesn't enjoy them, just not using them. You know, you know, you can always feel free to uh, to donate them as well. That would be uh, that will help me out too. I'm actually off work right now, so I do this to. Um, Take a take a moment to have a break from my search, and then get back to uh, get back at it. Hopefully that will change soon. Feeling like uh, feeling like I'm close on something, but uh, it's very uh, I don't know competitive out there or. Um, Some of these are the same cards, but go straight to the straight to the rare. Just a few more packs to go. Yeah, go right right to the uh, right to the good stuff. I have to sort through these and then see how close I get to a set. I don't actually know how big um, Path of the Destroyer expansion really is, but um, I'm not even sure what cycle it's from. I think it's somewhere in the middle, or maybe from maybe about ten years old. Ten years old, two thousand and nine or something like that. It's all about getting the just play set for certain cards. Again, that's why I really like certain really like the L the LCG model because you can get a, a play set of cards, um, you know, out of the box, with the exception of uh, the core set for this game. Netrunner, I actually got. Um, I bought the core set for that. I believe I bought it from a store, brand new, and then I just recently paid maybe fifteen dollars for um, another core set. Actually, I bought two core sets for probably about the same amount. I think one I paid twenty bucks, and the other one I paid about fifteen dollars. And so I got um, uh, three core sets now for for Netrunner. Um, Game of Thrones, I had the first one, and I actually just got an expansion for the first uh, first series, pretty pretty inexpensive, but I bought, uh, I got two core sets, again, the uh, first one I probably, I bought years ago, and hadn't really done much with it, and then I just, I got a, another one recently for, from a store, and I think they, they might have had it missed mispriced or something so it was like it was $29 like I thought, well I'll just grab it so I'm looking for um, probably another copy of that and I need two more core sets of L5R the, it's funny the game that I actually really want to try to start playing is the one I don't have I have the least amount of so but anyway, that I'll change that He looks like he's uh, about to kick some kick some ass. Uh, yeah, well, I'm probably gonna sleeve all these uh, all the rares up. 
or I'll put them, I don't know, I might put them in a binder. Yeah, artwork is great on these cards. Okay, we got last, last two packs. I'll just run through these guys. Last one, the last of the 48 packs. Definitely shooting it on video. You want to move a little faster trying to open the packs. Not make it make the video too long, but you always let me know if I need to slow down or on my other like the next videos I do. Unclean sacrifice. Ugh. Cleansing, oh, cleansing the path. Got a concealed blade. Yeah, I really like our work. So, anyways, so that's it. It's uh, Path of the uh, Destroyer for uh, L5R. Uh, thank you for stopping by Castle of Legends.